Okay, in this video I'm going to be discussing the sidekick, uh, showing you how it works um, and how you set it up and when you might want to use the sidekick as opposed to um, a full gimbal head such as the Wimberly head. Um, the idea behind the sidekick uh, is that um, it allows you to leave your ball head on your tripod at all times so that you can always use it with a smaller lens such as this is a 50 millimeter macro. Any any small lens that you where you just attach the camera body itself to the tripod, you can still use your ball head just as you normally would. But when you have to shift to a larger telephoto lens that has a rotation collar, you can keep the ball head on your tripod, but just drop the quick release clamp into the uh, the notch, tighten it down. Put the sidekick in the quick release, and now you've got a side-mounted gimbal head uh, that can be used with a collared lens. The ball is locked down, and you're using the pan mechanism of the uh, of the ball head for your panning motion, and the sidekick provides the tilt mechanism. So I'll put a, uh, a lens on here. This is a mock-up of a uh, 500 f/4. the side mounted gimbal head, you, generally, you can only balance the lens forward and backwards because there's no provision for uh, vertical adjustment. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sliding it forward or backwards to, until I get it perfectly balanced. And now you can see it behaves much like the Wimberly head. Wherever you point it, it stops and very easy to use. So that's the basic idea of the sidekick. Okay, here's a close-up a close view of, uh, of how you set up the sidekick. Uh, you loosen your ball head, you drop the quick release clamp into the notch. You want to make sure that the, uh, the jaws of your quick release um, are vertical. And if you have a ball head that allows you to tilt the, the ball past 90 degrees, you want to make sure that your clamp is perpendicular to your pan base. So line that up. Lock it down. You want to lock it down uh, really well because you're probably going to be putting a pretty heavy lens on there. And um, since you're not going to be using the ball uh, uh, while you're using the sidekick, um, it's okay if you lock it down real tight. You don't have. To, you're not going to have to unlock it anytime soon. So once that's set, you open up the clamp, slide in the sidekick, close the clamp, and you're ready to go. In order to lock the panning mechanism, you just lock the pan of the ball head. And to lock the tilt, you lock this knob on the sidekick. 